by working on some of our more complicated locking combinations. So today we will be working on our scoop out hop, Texas hop, the seek, which ways, and then finishing off with the real lockers handshake. Let's get started. So for our scoop out hop, we are gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, knees bent, keeping your body nice and low to the ground. So starting off with our lower body, we're going to try to make a circle using our feet. So starting with the right leg up, we're gonna kick out to the side, swing that right foot in once it meets the left. The left is gonna complete the other side of the circle to bring that knee back to the middle. Once we're here, we're gonna switch, right knee comes back up, and then we step to finish it off. So we go low, right leg goes up to start, then the left, and switch, step down. We go right, swing, left, switch, back down. Nice big circle, side, and middle, switch, back up. With counts, we're going to go one, two, and three, four. Try that out. Six, seven, eight, one, two, and three, four. Great. Now adding in the arms, our arms are going to go in this umpire safe position. We're gonna swing up into a cross and then bring it back down. So with count, we go one, two, and three, down. One, two, and three, down. One, two, and three. With the legs, we go one, two, and three, down. One, two, three, down. Great, so this move is called the scoop out hop. So we're actually gonna add a hop into the movement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue with our right foot out to the side. Now once we place the right foot on the ground, we're gonna hop to switch to our left and down. So again, right leg goes out, touches the ground, hop onto the left and down. A little faster, one, two, hop and down. One, two, three, one more time. One, two, three and down. Great. Our next move is called the Texas hop. So we're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, taking our right leg and we're crossing it over our left, taking a nice big step. From here, we're gonna pick up our left foot. We're gonna tap our toe in front of the right, then to the back. Then we're gonna step back to our original position. So it goes right, left, left, together. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and. Great, from here, we're gonna take our left. Now we're gonna cross in front of our right. Bending the knees slightly, we're gonna lift our whole weight up, bringing up our right heel, as close to your butt as you can. And then step back down. Try it from the top, six, seven, right leg goes, step, tap, tap, open, lift up, back down. Just like that, six, seven, eight. Step, cross, and up, back down. Again, five, six, seven, eight, right, left, left, and pull back down. Now from here, we're gonna take our left foot and we're gonna do a step, touch, step, touch. Let's do a few of those. Here we can incorporate our up groove. You can make this into a Demita Joe if you'd like. Good, so from here, we have our right leg in the air. We're gonna step back down for left, tap right, right, tap. Great, let's try that whole thing. Right leg starts, four, one, and two. Open up, back, down, we step together, step together. A little bit faster. Six, seven, eight, we go. Step, tap, tap, and up, and tap, 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 tap. Great, now there are a few arm motions that are involved in this movement. We're gonna start off with our hands facing the ground and we're gonna follow our feet. So when we step with our right, we're gonna go hands to the side. As we tap with our left, we're gonna follow that tap to the front and open. So let's try that. Six, seven, eight, step, tap, tap, end. Now from here, our elbows are gonna go up with our heel as we open up and 
arms, whatever you'd like, do the jaw. Okay, so once we finish that step, tap, step, tap, you should have your left leg free. We're gonna start the Texas hop now on the right side. So we're gonna cross over with our left. We're gonna tap with our right in front, behind, together. And from here, we're now crossing with our right to bring our left heel and our elbows up. Back down, we step right, tap, left, tap. So essentially the entire thing in reverse on the right side. So let's nice and slow. Let's try the original direction and then we'll switch over to the right side. So starting with our right leg, we go. Step, tap, tap, open, lift, back down, step, tap, step, left foot goes. Left, tap, tap, and heel up. We go step, tap. Other side, we go. Right, tap, tap, and up, step, Together, step, together, left, tap, tap, and up. Step, together, step, together. Great work. The next movement we have is called the seek. Now, the foundational groove behind the seek is very similar to the funky breakdown that we learned a couple tutorials ago. So again, a quick review. The breakdown is knees bent, body nice and low. Our hips go away from the center line, back in, chest, back in. So we go hips, chest, hips, chest, hips, chest. One more time. Great. Now for this version of the funky breakdown, we're going to take our hips and our chest and move them side to side. So moving down into a squat position, we're going to shift our hips right, left. So let's try that a few times. One and two and three and four. Great, now our upper body can do the same thing. So our chest is going to go side to side, left, right, left, right, left, right. Great, now you notice my arms start to move in a circular motion. You can do that if you like, um, but the arms are typically up to you. So to start off, let's put the lower body with the upper body. We're gonna start off with our hips going right, left. Then our chest is going to go left, right. So hips go right, left, chest, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, now let's try that in reverse. So going to the other direction, our hips go left first, then right, and then our chest is going to go right, and then left. So hips go left, right, chest, right, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, now in order to make this the seek, what we're gonna do with our chest movement is we're gonna add in the arms. So if we're going to be looking to the left, we're gonna pick up our left hand and we're going to look for something in the distance. So hand right above our eyebrows, looking side to side. Same thing with our right, right arm comes up, like you're looking for something. So let's add that in. Our hips go to the right to start, right and now as our chest goes to the left we're going to bring up our hand to the left and then bring it back to the middle so we go right and left hand and here and seek ta, 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 ta. great now let's reverse that our hips are going to start to the left to start left and and as our chest goes to the right we bring our right arm up to seek then bring it back down. So we go left, arm up, left, arm up, six, seven, and eight. Great, and that is called the seek. For our witch aways, we're gonna start with our feet, shoulder width apart, knees bent, keeping the body nice and low, and then arms in front. We're gonna isolate the lower body only. Starting with our left leg, we're gonna turn so that our left heel is facing the side of the room. We're gonna peel up the heel, invert the leg so that the knee is up, straighten the leg, bring the foot back in. Let's try the same thing on the right side. Body nice and low, turn the leg, heel up, knee up, kick back in. So all together in one quick motion it goes, heel, turn, kick, end. Try that again with the right, six, seven, eight, heel, turn, kick, end. A little faster, one and two, end. One and 
and two and, one and two and, and two and. Great, now the idea is to keep going, alternating back and forth in one fluid motion. So it goes, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a two, five, six, seven, and eight. 